Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a very simple donut chart that you can use for data visualization. So what I mean by that, let's say for example we have some charts here. These are basically donut charts and when you think about it, donut charts are just another version of a pie chart. And it's better that you don't have too many series of data. Uh, in this example, what we're showing is just maybe some likes or dislikes. Maybe this is the likes or dislikes of a page. So what we want to do is with this type of situation, maybe we wanted to kind of just make a very simple point and just put one metric. So you can see how the color kind of aligns to the, the color uh, that we want uh, to emphasize. The blue color in the font for the number kind of aligns to the, to the slice here of this donut 95%. Uh, to this larger uh, donut slice here. And let me kind of show you an example that's online uh, that kind of uh, exemplifies this. So here I am on the page. Uh, this is from visually.com. And this is uh, just a marketing type of um, reference or, or page that uh, they've got this blog post here. And they're, they're, they've got the same type of chart. And basically, it's a donut chart. And they've put some icons behind it. And you've got the numbers below it. And you can put some text to kind of uh, make a point about uh, certain percentages or certain data metrics. And this could actually easily be done with a donut chart in Excel. So let me go back to Excel and show you how this could be done. So let me go ahead and show you how this is done. Let me go ahead and just kind of take uh, one of these. Let me go ahead and just take this Control-C to copy, go into a new sheet, and then Control-V uh, control to paste. And now we have our, our uh, data. So basically, this is just data that I can put in here. And this is taking a formula. And basically, what it's doing is taking B2. Let me go ahead and just click here. It's taking B2 here and dividing it by the sum of these two amounts. So you can do that. This has only got two series of data. Uh, if we want to have a three series of data, we can have another row here. And we're going to sum from, instead of from B2 to B3, B2 to B4, B5, B6. But this is just a simple example that I'm going to show. Let me go ahead and press Escape to get out of that. And once we have that, um, what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and select this and uh, press the Control key and select the this value, A2 to A3 and C2 to C3, and go ahead and insert the pie chart. Oops, not the not the scatter chart, the pie chart. So it's going to be a donut chart. The donut chart is under the pie chart. So I'm going to click on that. And once that's done, uh, we have kind of the beginnings of our donut chart. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the title here and go ahead and also get rid of the legend. Select that and just press delete. And now I've got my pie chart. All I need to do now is just basically go ahead and change some of the coloring. Now, um, we want to kind of mute the color that we don't want to put emphasis on. You want to de-emphasize that. So I'm going to go ahead and select this particular slice. You can see everything is selected here. If I click on it again, just this part is selected now. And I'm going to go ahead and right click, format data point, and go ahead and click the fill bucket, fill, and the solid fill is going to be gray. So that's going to be a, a very muted gray color, right? So the next thing I want to do is I want to kind of make this uh, circle smaller, the, the donut size. I want to get make that piece a little bit bigger. Right now, it's probably about 75%. I'm going to go ahead and click on the, uh, well, this is called the series option. Right now, it's 75%. That's the default that I have. I'm going to make that 60%. So now that hole is going to get a little bit smaller. Press tab. It's gotten a little bit smaller here. And I, I can probably make this a little bit smaller now and uh, go ahead and bring it down there. Let's see, that's probably a little bit too small. Let me make it into a square. What I can do is I can kind of align it to the grid here. Press the, the Alt key and kind of, once I move the uh, chart area, the plot area, the chart area around, it's going to align to the grid. So that aligns to the grid. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of pull this over here to align to that grid. So it looks kind of nice. And as I make multiples of that, they're kind of going to be the same. So the next thing I want to do is I want to get the, the text of uh, that particular metric there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a text box. So I'm going to go to Home, go to, or actually I should go to Insert, go to Text, and insert a text box, and I'm going to bring the text box in. Let me go ahead and bring that text box in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, the Like part. The one that I want to emphasize, I want to bring the metric from that value over. So I'm going to go up here to the Formula bar, type equal sign, and then go ahead and click on that cell. So it's going to 
it's going to select cell C2. You've got the dollar sign in front of it, so if you ever copy things around, that always is going to reference to C2. Press enter, and now you notice that the text is there. So I'm going to go ahead and click that text, double click it to select it, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, let's see, let me go ahead and select my text here. I want to go ahead and center it, and also go ahead and middle line. So it's right in the middle. And also increase the font size. But before I do that, I'm going to want to give some type of a styling to this particular text. So I'm going to go ahead and go to Format. I'm going to choose the default style. The word arch styles here are kind of nice. I'm going to select one that's blue. I'm going to go ahead and select this blue here. And then I'm going to go ahead and now increase the font size a little bit. Let me go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. And maybe put it in a bold. Right, and so now I've got a bold, and since I've bolded and made it a little bigger, it, the the area which constrains the text uh, doesn't let show up, doesn't show the percentage. I'm going to move this out a little bit more, and I'm going to move this right in kind of the center. And now I have my the underpinnings of the first pie chart, and you can see as as I change this amount here, let's let's say that it becomes instead of 100, it becomes 1,000. You can see the change is 91 percent and the change is there. Now the nice thing about this is I can go ahead and start duplicating these. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller so I can duplicate this out. So I can click on here and just press Control D. It will duplicate this particular um, uh, chart and I can just kind of move it and press the Alt key and kind of move it into place. And I'm going to go ahead and make another duplicate, Control D to duplicate that again. You can see it kind of moved it into place really well. Now I don't want all these charts to reference this one thing here because maybe I have different uh, parameters here. So what I'm going to do is select this and then Control C to copy, uh, Control V to paste, and Control V to paste here. Now the thing I need to do is I need to change some of the formulas right now because uh, this is referencing uh, this particular area. See this B2, B3? Now that's fine for this particular range first, but I got to change this one here because when I copied it down, it kept it. You can see that it kept it. And so if I click in here, you can see that this red font color uh, corresponds with this red box here. So I'm going to move this down. I'm going to select that and kind of move it down here and press enter. And I've got to do the same thing for this one. If I click up here, the same thing happens. I want to move that down here, right? And then I can press enter, or I can go ahead and just uh, click here. And we have this first one here. Let me go ahead and move it down. This is for my third chart. And I can just take this and select that Control C to copy, press Escape, go into this cell, and just Control V to paste it in here. So you can see if I highlight it here, it shows up here. But if I do Control V to paste, you can see it moved down there. So press Enter. Now I've changed the uh, the formulas for the table, but now I have to change the references for these charts that point to the to the the, the tables here. So this one, of course, is correct. If I click in here you can see that it points to this table. This one, if I click in here into the chart area, oops, let me click on it, it still points to here, so I'm going to move this down. I'm going to move the second one, I'm going to move it down here. And so now it points to that correctly. Now you can see that uh, there's some values here that are different. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, change this one now, this third one here. Click in here, you can see it points to the first table. I'm going to select, take that selection and move it down here and now you can see it's changed. So in addition, uh, you can see that it's also taken back the default um, parameters or the chart type, the chart stylings. Now I can go back here and kind of change everything, but another way that you can do it is you can take this chart, uh, just selecting it, press Control C to copy it, select this chart here, and go up here, go to Paste, Paste Special, and we just want to paste the format. So I'll click on that and click OK, and now you can see the format's been pasted in there. I can do the same thing here. Uh, I think that still kept the paste parameter, so I'm going to go ahead and click Paste Special, and I just want to paste the format. Click OK, and the format has just pa pasted over here. So now I can just change things around. Uh, maybe this is uh, 500 or 50, and this one is 50, right? And so uh, this 91%, oh, there's one more thing I needed to change. I need to change that to reference uh, this one here. So now I've got to change the values here. So you, you would think that it'd be kind of easy enough to kind of like look at this value instead of having it go to C2, point to C7, but it doesn't really work well that way. If I put C7 here, press enter, you'll notice that it changes it. And there's not really an easy way to also kind of take that and do a control C to copy and control V to, to paste special to, to print, 
to bring it back here and that format. So uh, what I found is it's easy enough to just kind of go ahead and go back and change it and bring back my um, particular settings here or particular or just copy the particular uh, configuration for each of the different uh, numbers to make them the same. Uh, it's easy enough. I remember that it's bold, it's uh, font size 16, and we're using the format word art style here, which is fill, blue, accent, one, shadow. So uh, that's kind of one of the, the, the downfalls of, of this particular approach of not being able to copy and paste special like we did with our chart here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to do the same thing with the other ones here. Uh, let's see, this one was uh, actually, I think, 18 and bold. So we had 16 here, so I'm going to go ahead and select that, double click and go ahead and increase it uh, up to 18 so we have that there. I've do the same here for this one now. If I went and uh, typed in 12 here because I wanted to point it to this particular like here, I want to delete that and put 12 there, you notice that now it's kind of changed it a little bit differently. Uh, basically it's added another text box so it's added this text box and it's kept this text box and uh, for some reason, I don't know why it exactly does that, but easy enough to, to, to rectify. We can just select that, delete it, and move this one in to the middle and go ahead and change our styles. Uh, change it to the word art style here and just increase this to 18 and then make it bold. And now we have uh, our settings, our particular uh, really simplified uh, donut chart. And so if we want to kind of move this all at the same time, what I can do is I can go ahead and select all of these objects and just group them. So I can go ahead and uh, go to uh, Find Select and go to Special. And what I want to do is I want to select all the objects because these are all the objects here and select, click OK. So it's selected all three of these objects and then right click and then just group them. So next time I wanted to move things around, I can just move it around. If I select here, I can move it around because the, the text box here and the chart, they're all grouped together now. So I can, also, I can move this around to different parts of the Excel document, or I can actually just copy and paste it and put it into a PowerPoint or put it into a website. Just copy it as an image and put it into a website. But I, uh, the beauty of this is if I had uh, any other data, we can set this up as a template. If I had any other data I wanted to add to it or just kind of change things around, less this like is maybe instead of 1,000, maybe it's uh, 5, some odd number, 524 per center. You can notice now it's changed. The percentages here changed, and this kind of reflects it kind of nicely here. So we have 40% here. Oh, <laughs> that shouldn't be 48%. This needs to change. Let me go ahead and click in here. Now let's see what happened here. Uh, let's see what is what is this pointing to. It's pointing to... Uh, let's see, this 40% is pointing to C12. Uh, let's see what this is pointing to. This should be B2 to B3. Oh, we need to move this down here. Press Enter. How about this one? Is this pointing to the correct one? Yes, it's pointing to the correct one. Now we've got it correctly. This is, oops, press Escape. This is 84%. So those, oh boy, so we have to make sure that, you know, our calculations are correct, of course. Um, once we do these cop copy and paste uh, into different cells, it's always a good idea to recheck you know, the references of where your cells are doing calculations, right? Press escape to get out of that. Uh, you can see this is pointed to B B12, B13. That's correct. Press escape. Let me see this bottom one again. Uh, click over here. It's pointing to the correct uh part of the table. So like when I change things here now again, let's say this is 524, it's just say 50% each, and it reflects that correctly. So this is something where we can create a, a very simple uh, donut chart. We can group them together, uh, put the percentages in the middle. If you want to kind of put a title above, you can use the text box again and just put a title above each one. And you can put this into a web page or a PowerPoint presentation. And it's really just supposed to be a very simple uh, donut chart. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.